Hi everybody, I'm Alice K. Ruckelhaus from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Ruckelhaus. And I just wanted to share a story with you before I do this unboxing or unenveloping of some really, really fun stuff. So anyway, the story I want to tell you to give you a little background is um, most of you probably know that I lost my husband in a car accident a little bit more than a year and a half ago. And so obviously, you know, I've been through a lot of depression and I now I'm doing a little bit better. I still have days when I'm really depressed or moments when I'm really depressed and other times when I'm doing a lot better. You know, it's just, it kind of comes and goes and sometimes catches me by surprise. But one of the things that I realized was that I needed to wake up and fall asleep to something that would help me not be depressed. And um, I was reading in Hebrews about the great cloud of witnesses, which has been, I don't know if I was actually reading about it actually when I thought of this, but I was thinking about those verses. And because I think about that a lot since Bill died, about the great crowd of, yeah, the great crowd of witnesses, cloud of witnesses that's watching us and cheering us on in our walk with the Lord. And so I had this idea of filling my bedroom walls and it's probably going to end up being more than my bedroom walls because I've gotten quite a few um, with pictures of people that I want to emulate in some way. You know, I might not want to be like their entire life, but there's something about them, some quality that I would like to fashion my own life after. And so I started looking for pictures of those people and then I want to calligraphy under them on the wall. Um, a quote from them or something about them or a Bible verse that goes with their life. And I just want to have that for inspiration. And I just think that that will really, really help me. And I've already started doing it in my bedroom. And sometime um, I'll take you in there so that you can see what I've done so far, which isn't a whole lot. But anyway, so I searched on Etsy because I like going to Etsy. That's, you know, people that you can support their artwork and stuff. And I found this one artist that I absolutely love. And I have bought some things from other people too, mostly photographs of people that she didn't paint. So like I wanted C.S. Lewis, I wanted Dietrich Bonhoeffer, um, uh, Elizabeth Elliot, Corey Ten Boom, people like that. Um, but this artist, Sue Kuma Johnson, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing Kuma right, um, I'm pretty sure about Sue and Johnson, <laughs> but uh, the rest of her name, Sue, you can correct me if I'm saying that wrong. Um, anyway, I found her artwork and she paints saints and they're beautiful. I just, I really love them. They have the vivid colors. They fit with my style really, really well. So I wanted to show you what I recently ordered from her. I haven't gotten any actual paintings from her. I've gotten prints of her paintings, um, but I've also gotten something else. Now I had started doing a video, so this is already open. So don't criticize her packing, packaging. She packed it up a lot better than this. I'm just, um, I just stuck it back in, you know, for the effect. <laughs> so anyway, I want to show you this first. So this is, she makes these medallions. She hand solders these. They're prints of some of her paintings. So this is um, the Virgin of Guadalupe. It's Mary, the mother of Jesus. And there's a really cool story with this. I'll, I'll tell you the stories of these saints another time, but I just wanted to show you these. And um, you can order chains from her or like this one's a cord. She also has elastic cord. This one's not elastic because it's big enough to go over my neck. So I told her it didn't need to be elastic. And this one I really like because I've got several different medals like this of different saints and she's put it on a big jump ring so I can put more than one on there for wearing with like a solid color dress that, you know, needs something more than just a simple little medallion. And so I just brought a couple more. I've bought several from her over the months, um, but I'm just going to show you two more. This one is Saint Rita of Kasha. Awesome story behind her too. Obviously, I'm not going to get well. All the saints I think have awesome stories. So yeah, I I just if I've gotten them. Oh, and then I also got this little like iridescent stone with it that I thought would be really pretty just to give it a little bit more depth and stuff. Oh, okay. So one of the things that I like about these two is that she has the picture on both sides. So you know how your necklace turns around and everything, and then you don't see the front, you see the back. Well, there's no back on these. They're just on the front. I think that she does something where you can have the other side with your name on it or some kind of personalization. I'm not sure about that, but I think so. And then this is one of the chains that she, that she sells. I really like this one. It's very pretty. 
And then, oops, oh, I just got to tangle up with that. This is another chain that she sells in different sizes. And the medallions she sells in different sizes too. So you can choose what size you want of each one. So this is um, St. Hildegard. And yeah, really pretty. I love these really, really brilliant colors. And I don't know if you can see the design that she's painted around the edge. You know, some of them have words around them, which you know, if you know my paintings, you know that that really fits my style and everything. So I like those. Okay, so that's one of the things that I got. And then this other thing was what I was just starting to get out when my camera stopped working earlier. So I haven't gotten to really look at them yet. But these are postcards that I ordered. And I'll frame one of these. I think there's like three or four in each package. I'll frame one and then, you know, I'll give the rest away. But this one is St. Cecilia, and I really don't know her story. I'm looking forward to learning about it. And, oh, here she has. Cecilia is the patron saint of music and musicians. She was a Christian Roman martyred for her faith, and during her ordeal, she heard the music of heaven. In the ninth century, and again in the 16th, her tomb was examined, and her body was incorrupt. That means it hasn't decayed. Okay, and um, I guess I'm going to have to open this one to be able to show you. She put some other things in there too. Her Sue's cards, um, her like her business card has some of her artwork on it, which is really cool. And she sends you deals with it. Okay, so this is the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It's a vintage holy card, so that's really pretty. So that's not you know her painting. That's a copy of a vintage card. And then here's Saint Hildegard, which she uses as her business card. And then she always sends not always, usually sends um, codes for something off. And then this is St. I think this is St. Therese, but I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know the Catholic saints very well. Okay, I think she's the same as this, St. Therese, I believe. So she died, died really young. Um, so this is St. Therese of Lisieux. Of the Christ of the child Jesus um, she was a French Carmelite nun her little way is a path of holiness based on love and simplicity her ideal is spiritual childhood trusting in the love of the father I can't remember how young she was when she died I want to say 24 but I could totally be wrong on that these are people that I'm just learning about this is again the Virgin of Guadalupe and um, like I said I'll tell you the stories about them this lady I do not know how to pronounce Saint Kateri Takakwitha, and that's probably, I totally ruined that, I'm sure, but um, she was a Mohawk. She had a pagan father and a Christian mother. They died when she was four, and she was raised by her uncle, a chief of the Mohawks. Despite facing resistance, she was baptized in 1676 at age 19. She is the first Native American saint and is a model of youthful faith and piety. Anyway, these are these are each saints that I've read a little tiny bit about and thought, oh, I want to learn more about them. And I, like I said, I just love Sue's artwork. It's just beautiful. So that's what I got this time. Um, I have a bunch more that I've bought from her. I try to buy something like almost every month, but now I'm going to have to stop for a while. And I've gotten frames for like 50 cents to $2. I think I did get one for $5 at the thrift store. So I've got a bunch of frames and I need to get all the the prints that I have are like eight by tens. I think I got one that was bigger um, and then I've got these ones and so I need to get them framed and put up in my bedroom and stuff but I'm really looking forward to that and her husband she has two shops I think her husband has a shop too and he he does some work on some stuff too so I will link all of those below I'm hoping to interview Sue and John someday and talk about their artwork and what inspires them and everything. It's just, it's wonderful. And anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you. I will put links below. I love you all. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.